So this is a movie, a video, an illustration of pasting, copying and pasting a route in bet between the two programs, QTVLM and OpenCPN. And uh, where I'm not at all covering here the pros and cons or the virtues or the, f you know, the, the ways to make the routes and why we would use one versus the other. Uh, but there are times you would use one. One might be better suited than the other, and then you copy it and you want to paste it to another. We have an article that discusses that. But this is just the process, not just the process of cutting and pasting. So here's, an, here's a route made in OpenC in, uh, no, this is QTVLM. And again, it's a sailing-oriented sailing navigation uh, program. So we have we actually have wind here. There's wind there uh, in the background. We had to load the wind, and then we had to go in and boat settings, uh, uh, polar. No, cancel. Uh, boat uh, polars, wind polar analysis. So we have a, a polar diagram that says how the boat's supposed to move. But we want to do this. We want to do this under power. So with that case, what we do is we go to boat settings and we go to engine. And then here's the trick. I just say this boat has to go, um, you know, it's going to go turn the engine on if the, wind, if the sailing speed's less than 50 knots. And it's going to always be that. And so, and then when we turn the engine on, it's going to go six knots. So that's the way we've created a engine, an uh, under engine route in QTVLM. And so here's the route. And then we've labeled the waypoints. And there's going to always be a time associated with these, which will be the starting time that we set for the route, then based on uh, six knots. And so we can write, so once that's made, let's say we now want to look at that route in OpenCP. PN. So we right click it and just say copy the route. Now I come over here to open CPN and right click and say paste the route. This is function, okay, uh, that's good. And this is functionality that these these uh, programs have to, uh, on some level, collaborated on. And now here, come, the route is in there. Now the the labels didn't show up, but you could come and you could come and uh, see they're there, and you can turn them on. You know, you could turn on each of these labels if you if you want to see them. Um, now, but then importantly, if you go here and look at the properties, then you see it's brought with that engine speed of six knots. It brought with it the starting time and these uh, these ETAs and so forth. So then you can manipulate this as you see fit or go move it back into, you can move these routes back and forth. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the idea there, and uh, but now let's go the other way. Let's make a route here, and I've made one down here. Let me just turn it on. Squim here. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. Okay, so there is a route made here, just coming out of here in detail. Um, actually, here here's an ex. This route, okay, so you see this is made on an RNC, a paper chart. This is an example, I think I can't pass that up, to, uh, to show that this is pr a case where the new ENC charts are going to be actually a lot cleaner for setting up routes like this. Uh, and so uh, here they are. And so with, with this program, I can, yeah, I can go and set them very precisely like that. Okay, so I have a route. Now this one, does it have a speed? Let's see, properties. Uh, yeah, so here's where you set the speed in this program because it's power. It basically means this is the speed you're going to go. It doesn't think about power sail particularly. Okay, so it's 4.0 knots, so it's okay. Cancel. Now, I just take that and say right click. And uh, now here, copy as KML. Key, oh, that's, a, that's a Google Earth talk, but uh, that's okay. And then just take the bottom extended waypoint data for QTVLM. That's it. So now you've copied that. If you wanted to see exactly what you've copied, you know, you can go in and command V. There's the, there's the file you copied in both cases. It's a, uh, it's a, um, it's a KLM document. But, okay, but they've agreed cancel, cancel. I don't need any of that. Uh, don't, don't delete. Okay. Now I go back to the other program here. 
And uh, let's see, I don't need this route anymore. Let me just delete it. Yes, okay. And now I'm just right click and paste. Pa no, paste the route. Okay, so there the route has come in. Uh, you see, that's very nice. I don't know of any other two programs or that let you do that, like you share this kind of technology back and forth. Now, I've got to look here. It didn't bring the labels, but we can, we can uh, let's see, marks, routes, uh, edit a route. This is called this one. And I think, let's see, we don't need all of that. These are there is an ortho route. Ortho means it's just great circle. These are sailing terms for optimizing sailing. Now that should do it. We're starting from the first mark, and there's the starting date. Okay. Okay. So there are your labels on here. And uh, so that is, and again, the times are tied to the four, uh, the four knots of speed. Let's see if that says that. Uh, uh, see, oh no, this says six knots. Oh, because, ah, uh, a <laughs> little bit of a subtlety. We've told this program that you're going to go under engine at six knots. And so it's remembered that here. Okay, so that's a subtlety you have to work with. But that all makes sense. Uh, okay, so there it is. And then if you wanted to um, uh, look at that one in the vector charts, you can do that in both programs as well. Um, so there you are. Okay, so I'll stop there. That's the process. We have an article that discusses this feature a little bit. Thank you.